August the 4th, 93, was my first time I got a crossroad. Every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, we they all over Jamaica. The venom where Ricky Trooper built up from the base of this beat no where he need get. Him turning out one different Ricky Trooper. So everybody who is everybody from the bunty to everybody in the dance hall, them say something about Cassette Joy. Would you say you were basically almost like an official Stone Love Cassette man for a while? All right, you see me, you know. What's going on, ladies and gentlemen? This is Muscle, and this is another Two Line Music Arts Entertainment Report podcast. And today, we have a really special guest in the building. Listen, usually I talk to a lot of producers, artists, songmen, and all this, but this conversation to me is really special because I get to speak to somebody that started in the business the same way how I started out with cassettes, selling music, and all that good stuff. So, you know, we have in the building today, we have Cassette Jones in the building today. What's going on, big boss? Well, I go on, Mr. Muscle. <laughs> well, go on, yourself? <laughs> man, great, man. You got thanks to life, you know? You understand. Yeah, Thank you so yeah. much for joining us here on the Entertainment Report podcast today, boss. The pleasure is mine, man. You know, I'm glad for no so I go have a, a cassette man to cassette man conversation, you know? <laughs> you understand, because you don't, you don't get these too often, if not even really, because I'll get off the air, you'll talk to man and man, yeah, we're doing this, but there's not really an on-air conversation where you'd see two people that started cassette have a conversation, you understand? Papa, we are man. Definitely. So, you know, we yeah. like to take it right from beginning, bring it 2023. So my first question is, where were you born in Jamaica and where did you grow up? All right, so Mabana, Kiwan is medical club that the uh, Tivali Garden. I'm a grew up uh, out of East, Kentire to be exact. And uh, I'm a born in a one small Christian family to a teenage modern uh, established auto mechanic surrounded by aunts and different skill set family members and you don't know, the inner city type of inner out and different faces and different professions. So that was my early settings, you know? For sure. And did you grow up with any siblings at that time there? Well, my father is a rolling stone, you know, so I had three sisters prior to me being born, but them like, like 14, 15 years age difference. So being that my father was women's, them just drop in and drop out. They never really under the said roof where we there is in me. So I kind of grow by myself, really and truly, and them come through now and again, you know what I mean? So yeah, it was like a household with mostly adults and one and two cousins from aunts and other uncles, you know? Mm -hmm. So you got more time. It was basically you as as the child around. So you got more time to really explore and figure out what was going on at that time there. Well, I said, man, I can't remember from me. I like two year old, man. Then I live out of, I live around a gully. You know, a place out of east of them called Gully. McGregor Gully to be exact. And the yard where me did live in a, I have one tall tambourine tree. Uh, every Friday, religiously, my father used to send man to climb that tree at him have two steel iron where he put at the top of the tree, the tick, 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 top of the tree. Them tree are like some, like hundred foot tall. <laughs> <laughs> then, and yeah. they have some makeshift bass box where he put all over the yard and I have a little sound system set up, one turntable, one preamp, and they would have some two bumps. Them time they like a BA-1000. I just have to try and come off at the top of me. I think a BA-1000, I would have like two of them there. And I have one little, little thing that look like a pouch, and I guess that was the sound effect. And I have one, 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 one homemade 
backdrop, something like this, but it's small with the logo of the sound. It sounded me name Saba International, you know? So every Friday, that was the thing. So he used to put me on a little chair more time for hold the microphone and put the headphone around my ears. And me used to say things when going to school, like, today I learned my ABCs and <laughs> my one, two, threes. It wasn't like, no testing one and none of that you know what i mean mm -hmm. so early memories and crossed exactly across from where i was living you'd have a yard where sly and rabbit them used to come them more time come rears can okay. remember them specifically because when them forward you have like a bag of rasta like uh, like like a like like a crew of rasta just gather you know one man in particular I used to come there was Michael Rose. Michael Rose used to come there. Yeah. Regular. I remember um Shine Eye Girl used to be the the, 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 the song at the time. Shine Eye Girl is a trouble to a man at them time. Eh? So them used to like rehearse them song there. Eh? So me have good memory of them thing. Eh? And mm -hmm. when we used to walk. Because I used to go to school, I used to go to Alpha Infant. So, on the way I got Alpha Infant, you pass Alpha Boys Home, where you used to have like the half and them, like the, 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 the Leroy siblings and the yellow man, them used to over there. So, mm -hmm. me never see them still, but I over there, so them used to go and like the, um, where me and Leroy Smart and them man, they, and that's so them used to go and you used to have the youth, them where hang out where make kite and them used to sell fish where them catch and all of them little thing and I don't know if a lot of people know but Alpha Academy <laughs> at a school eh, Sidella Mali used to go. So Bob Mali used to come pick her up every day. Or send people come pick her up every day. I used to see the likes of Rowan and I used to see the likes of no Stephen and Ziggy. <laughs> We used to see them, because they used to see the VW, they used to fall when they come, pick them up. So, on the way to school, you see the Alpha Boys home people, them. when you're at school, you see Bob Marley, them, and their family, there. and then you see different, different, different skill set, like people are make kite, and you don't know, somebody in a park across the road where you know the big cricket match, they might take place, or the celebrity, them park up, and then you have Holy Trinity School right at the side. So, so you see, a lot of that was my inner city going up. I mean, I remember them thing from me at two year old, is it? The fact that you could even remember it, but again, you probably seen all of this, but it's not till you got older you could put it back together. Remember, this was who and what I was seeing back then. Yes, I. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you're seeing the music, your your father has the song, you're seeing Sly and Robbie them with Michael Rose, Bob Marley them down the road, your passing school and all. So even before all of this now, what do you think you were going to get into or what do you want to get into growing up? Did you say you want a doctor, a lawyer, even an entertainer? Where did you think you were going to? You know, I said, cliche, if you come back, I'm telling you, say, Yo, I want to be a, a musician. You know, I was aspired. Not like that, man. Big man thing. A pilot yeah. with the one turn, you know. Okay. A pilot with the one turn, man, but. You don't know me as a man, me never learned so fast. You know what I mean? My way of learning was like through repetition and going to school. The, 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 the earlier years made that, made that struggle hard to learn. And it's not even a matter of learning because I will learn it, but I can't retain it. And mm -hmm. you don't know, we, we move from south now. We move from out of east. And then we end up at Portmore. Live at Marion Park from 78. So I live at Portmore now. You'll find say, other kids used to go Alpha. Come start Alpha Primary now. So the whole we start to take bus. And the bus them where we are take now, carry go straight to school. And you find out say, as you grow, you know where your deficiencies are and you know where your shortcomings are. And by the time it reaches common entrance time, it like clockwork, man, no pass, come on in, chance, you see me? So, the hand up. Hey, all of your friends, them Ghana, <laughs> judges, and all of them Ghana, Casey and Calabar, and 
your parents them now left with, you know what I mean? I don't want them feeling away, so I don't want them going to secondary school either. So you know what? We are gonna try to get him in our uh, some sort of high school. So feel come an entrance and then me end up a done rabbin eye, you know. Mm-hmm. Mm. And this is where when you were in school now, done rabbin, this is more like like uh, technical and trades and those type of stuff there. Not not yet. Um this was like it's like a remedial school. So everything we never learned in our twelfth grade. Yeah, go learn it yourself. So yeah, go to school with some not so bright rich people, you know. <laughs> yeah, so oh that it not so bright group, it was like right, this not so bright one, is it? Yeah, so at age thirty you know everything start makes sense. Everything start makes sense. It's like my brain I get bomb rushed with ideas and the bulb blame I go off and I start learn some things that I should have learned a long time. But it was like joyful for me because you start feel a, a sense of independence. You know what I mean? For sure. So yeah, you start feel more like how you're supposed to feel. So by them time I know Pope more was the setting, it was the place to be and you know what I mean? It's like the self of identity. Everything start come about when we move up Portmore. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Portmore now. So then what part of Portmore did you move to? I'm placing near Marine Park. It's there right beside Breton and in between Breton and Nagazet. Were you still at this time here now, were you still seeing musical stuff going on in the community at this time still? So? All right, so here all that thing I got to Musical thing started to be exact. Like, 81, to be exact. I mean, like, the appreciation, or you start to realize what kind of music you like. So here this thing I got to We have an uncle in name, Uncle Dian. See, so Uncle Dian was the father figure, because my father... And my old lady spit up and my father can't come nowhere near, not even a hundred foot to where we live. <laughs> yeah, so my uncle there now took on the role of father figure. And every Saturday, uncle there used to have the routine them where him play, him cassette them. And these cassettes now were like roadrunner. Volcano sound, mm-hmm. Jalov, Stirgraph, Stir Mars. When him up play them now, she's a man who teach me everything, you know. Dian teach me everything. Him teach me how to piss straight. Him teach <laughs> me how to take a proper shower. Him teach me how to wash out the, the black out of your white clothes. Him teach me how to cook dumpling. Man, they teach mm-hmm. me. Everything, all for look a girl, hygiene, everything. They are not like my father. So, yeah. he's a man who quiz you a lot. So, he always make you know, say, you hear the man that we are sing? That's when the cassette are playing. The man that are the vocalists. I remember say, them they are the singers. I used to have like Yami Bolo, Little Kirk. I used to have like Junior Reed, Echo Minot. Barrington Levy. You hear them voice, because them there was the vocalist them round the sound. And then when you hear the Nicodemus, the Super Cat, the Burobantan, then you used to know, say, yo, them man there are the DJ. So you hear the 45 I play, which me done already familiar with what a 45 was. The actual song. And the flip side used to have the version, because I know that from a live with my father. Mm-hmm. So you find out, say, you hear the, 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 whosoever the song was, a play. And you know right away you hear them a toast over it, and then after me say, Oh, I'm pull up Danny Dread. And then at the flip side, mm-hmm. you start hear the flip side now. Normally the vocalist them go first. 
like the Yami Bowl of them go first, or the Junior Reed, or the Little Kirk, and then you hear Borobant and them just grab the mic, and then our friends in Lord of Mercy, you know, a Josie will that. <laughs> See, you know, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, like Brigadier them now, you know, say are some higher level, because them man, they, if the record are three minutes, you know, them man, they are chat six minutes, in you know, a record done and start over, you know, so you learn about. And there's still a chat. Yes, vocalists, mm -hmm. and you learn about the DJ them. And of course, my uncle never used to say, like, if you are a DJ, he never used to say, yo, that DJ, yeah. Bad. He means to say, yeah, that DJ I can chat in you know, that was the lingo yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. See, but you never have nothing for the singer them. You just know say a bad singer them. But we not say bad. You just know say them can chat. So religiously every Saturday I adapt the thing. So here comes break dancing now. And you find out say my bridging them start forward and yard. Enough now. So when them forward and we yard now, the only way we are going here. The break dancing song them or the disco song them, you have to listen to Fame FM, like the Cali Nines and anybody who are playing on Fame at the time. Mm -hmm. So me wanted a cassette, so I do not more than take one of the man's stereograph them <laughs> and get some get some yeah. tissue and put it at the two little opening them. And come stuff it. Yes, man, I record disco over the man cassette them, man. <laughs> you see? <laughs> so. <laughs> oh. One particular Saturday, you don't know the routine now. You don't know we are going to throw in this cassette and we are going to start cleaning the yard. Because you can't go nowhere until you clean the yard. You know? That are the rules of my house. Mm -hmm. You can't go nowhere till you clean up your yard. So the man threw in the cassette and you hear, ain't no stopping. <laughs> Bring it together. <laughs> me see mama look by him face and me start take with myself and as me I take with myself, the man hold me. And the man comes up and pay kick me get. Cause the man is a beat, you know. The man they are karate expert. I pay kick me get, you know. Say, him said to me, say yo. I was going there, so I may make him know. The man say, yo, my dad. A matter of fact, just all like you said. You see them thing here? Them thing here are like the holy grail. Them thing here are not something where you can just, you can't buy back these. See, you know, them start explaining to me the importance of them and all of that. And him find ways to get back in thing. So, I start learn about rhythm. Through my uncle, you start learning about the one rhythm where it stand out to me was diseases. Cause you did have Zungo Zeng Panit and you did have um, Michigan and Smiley and them two songs that it stand out to me. Do, 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 do. Every artist where you know we're bad, and them rhythm that you know, you hear them are bad. Where's DJ Al Boro Bunt and the whole of them on that rhythm there with the mix? All right, then and right. then they have sling thing that come out them time. They say it was like them. There was a flagship rhythm them. So you start learning about rhythm. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? All right, so I get my one cassette and then I start wait for Fame FM for play when them play whatever I play now. You come so and set your record and you, you record a little piece and then you hear part of the advertisement come in and you get some little piece, piece of song and no whole song. And, but you find yourself of like a 30 minute what a piece, piece of disco song. So you learn for record, but a regular record, a regular tape. And you have a little recording thing. But then you find out, say, I go Don Robin. Don Robin there. Basically, a Saint Andrew, but they are Saint Catherine. So you used to have a bus in him, Sun Enterprise, where we used to take. See? So they call it edgy. So basically, that bus they drive through the whole of Portmore. It drives through the whole of Portmore. Portmore consists of, I try my best. You have Nagazed, you have Marion Park, you have Brayton, you have Edgewater. 
you have Old Britain, you have South Barrow, you have Bridgeport, you have Portsmouth, you have Waterford, you have Gregory Park, you have Christian Penn. You see? You have Gavi Mead, you have Independent City, you have Cumberland. So the bus, Newland, it passed through the whole of them places. And then it basically take Gregory Park, and then it go up on Mandela Highway. When it go up on Mandela uh -huh. Highway, it pass through Dwayne Park, then it pass Calabar High School, then it pass my stop, Don Robin, and then it make a right turn, then you have Merle Grove, then, then you have St. Andrews High, then you have Holy Childhood, and then you have Crossroad. Crossroad was the terminus. So that commute there, commute there, you start you have two years to go up over. You see that you take halfway tree, you have halfway tree, then the highway, you go downtown. So that made it uptown, I go school. You have some bus where it come out when you have quarter million. <laughs> And them bus you now used to have in some big sound system. It's like a portable sound system. Them time there, they are talking about like 418 pan the back seat and tweeter and mid range speaker decorate the whole bus. So it's like you are going to one club. It's a portable club. <laughs> See? <laughs> uh -huh. Bus like exterminator, you had interceptor. And you'd have a bus when you Prince Macho Perry. But out of the whole of the bus, them exterminator bus, them, them used to have like a skull, like the Terminator. The movie is like them take little features from the movie and then basically decorate the bus look like that. So it, it, it look good and it sound good. And most of the time, them are play like Roadstar or them are play Inner City or them are play. Super Saint, them thing there, but they mostly have played the Roadstar cassette. So, Roadstar now used to have Ian. <coughs> and when Ian had played, Ian used to play the vocal <laughs> them first. Like, you hear him play like Far East rhythm, he might play the Taxi rhythm, he might play Coach rhythm. And when you hear that, you know, the whole of the trip where you depend, you know, at that you hear it, you hear Punani rhythm, you hear Love Punani rhythm, you hear. Duck rhythm. See, so if the bus there, even four miles away, now you're there, Don Robin High School bus stop in here. You hear that coming up. To, and to, you're, you're exciting to, to get on this bus. Well, I know. And the, the problem, I never excited to get on the bus. And the condition of the bus when it reads, all right. So the bus reaches your stop, people are hanging yes. off at the door, you know. <laughs> Yeah. Yourself, you have find yourself in the bus set. If I'm a wing there, you have got through because you want to be a part of this experience. So you start love the music power on different level car. When you see the whole bus are react to where they are here, plus you as a student, it's like any matter to penny where you are learning at school, you are look forward for go home time to take them bus. Mm -hmm. See? So we start. Type of music from where Uncle Dean start getting versus me start hear them thing and also me start you don't know gravitate to that so you did have a brother we living in my housing scheme now when he's skid he man he and them was friend okay. so he used to get them cassette for himself and then bring them come home and the only way you can hear them cassette is if you go down a theme yard so every Saturday now after you done clean up your yard. <laughs> <laughs> you're going to ask the yard or you start here. You know, so, as uh, me being who me being, you know, I want to start getting them things for myself. Uh -huh. So, you find ways how to get copy off of them and you start making your cassette collection. You see me? So, that was the whole learning about different rhythms and start making my own collections and now, I start to collect all the music from like age 13, 14, them time. Then. 
I remember what you're hearing on like the exterminator bus and these things here. This is more like now the young people type of music, even though you're saying far east and these stuff, and we're looking at like older now, but this is young mm-hmm. people because your uncle had the big man rubber dope song where man DJ. But by Ian, these times you're listening to man mixing music. There's no longer yeah, man. a DJ on the song. Mm-hmm. Yeah, listen, everything in you know, car here, I know. You see, anybody will come grace them, really, me wicked, like the Papa San them, and the Red Dragon them, and the Johnny P, and the Shabarangs, and the Major Worries, and the Child Prodigy, like the Risto Benji them now. Mm-hmm. Like, it's like your ears them, and the Major Mackerel, because them time the Major Mackerel just busting on that. That ill style is just a busting us so. up. The professor nuts them now with the joke them man. They 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 they, they looting and stitch them with the story them man. Uh, Ricky Stereo them man. Jonathan Wolfman and the Stereo one them now. You start you hear some different thing now. It 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 it, it, it colorful and the captain Barky them just a forward and the wicker man them man. Shortly after that, you did hear like the Capitan, the new talk we spread and woman melotion. Yeah, the dance them now are the songs them now sound more like and duck and the 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 shaka demos without players mm-hmm. them time they them that Admiral Bailey and the tiger them and you don't know the junior demos with the talk and stop type of thing like it start get one way now so. You know, you, you, you start, like, it was a, a great time okay. to be alive okay. that time. Yeah. For sure, you know there's, I mean? there's so many artists bossing and doing great things at this, at one time, you know, enough singers and DJ are hot at the exact same time. Yeah, man, so that, 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 that's, that's like the time when we see, yeah, I guess you, you start, collect, no, you start, you start, make your own collection and, you start collect the bodyguards and the 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 um the leaves unlimited and the cannon and um the love vibration and the Aries and the Gemini's and the the um um creation and and and, and the road stars and the inner city and the stone love them. You know, and the super saints now, you know, you, you start get mm-hmm. colorful. So you start make a bag of collection with them there. Mm-hmm. You know, you know, who sound of certain resident DJs and who was guest DJs. And then you find out, say, the Sturgoff and the Sturmars and some of the King Jammies. Then you find out, say, them start get little more. Them start on the antiques. Them start on the antique, like the old it's are the older type of thing. Them not, them not get absolute, you know, but them start get reclusive, like you not know, hear them as much, but you start mm-hmm. hear, it's like a birth to new sound, like the, the, yes, the Exodus, man. Exodus Nuclear, and get SF Syndicate, and then sound start spring up, the sound culture just start, like to me, start just, yeah. it just start get populated. You know, the early, it is early 90s. It just start blossoming in one, one colorful thing where we have right now. You know? Mm-hmm. And uh, you started your collecting and stuff. So then remember, your uncle, he's the one that basically introduced you to how valuable these cassettes mm-hmm. were in the first place. So, okay, you get that. Then you start hearing your own thing on the road. You're liking the bus and all of this too. You started collecting your own music. Yeah. Yeah, man. So the collection. So where, did, where did you go from there? All right. So with the collection now, remember, you know, high school, where I go. So you have other high school bridging. And the high school bridging them like the man, them will go GSC and KC and Calabar and all of that now. Remember, say we are all teenagers and the whole of we love music. So when a man have certain cassette, you start exchange. You start you give my dub half of your cassette and vice versa. So you start, your collection start get bigger and bigger. So what happened after this thing, you know, you find out, say, me end up, me left Dunrabin at second farm, me left Dunrabin. 
And me did go live, me go live across road for one year. So when I go live across road now, me did have one stepfather. <laughs> and me now nah, gonna be disrespectful, but just, just I believe that stepfather that used to take a whole heap of step. And me, me they want to step in her head. You see? So here we go on now. Live a crossroad, get me from my poor more house, and it me just get stressed out. Like, yo, you know, take me from me, 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 me support system, you know, take me from everything where me know. Me that a crossroad, so TST. Today, you have TST party, that are the world best tasting, best party worldwide. Them <laughs> there a stone throw from where me live. Late Road apartment, that next, the next, the, the next to Ivy Green, Muse, that's right next to Gemini Club. Uh, up the road, you used to have House Leo. Okay. So, we live, you can hear every dance we keep at House Aleo. You can hear it like you're the next door to it. And everything we keep at Gemini Club, you can hear it like it I keep next to your yard. And every last Thursday in a, every month, PST Talent Concert, where you see me go see Courtney Melody for the first time, me go see Yellow Man for the first time, me go see Beanie Man for the first time, me go see Nadine Sutherland for the first time, you see Little Kurt them for the first time, Yami Bolo, you start see every week, Every last Thursday, you can go to go see one of them people. Yeah. So, I left Portmore, live a crossroad for one year, experience that. But they, they dance them, we keep an outside, you know. Here we go, you know. This is where it's going to take a slight shift. Uh, one day, I reprimand me. And I go tell my father, and my father don't like this man. So my father, my father circle and just make him know, say, not, not chat to me you, none at all. I'm afraid of my father, you know. So you find out, say, that was it. But my mother never liked how that went down. And then him and them start to have them little things. So me capitalized on the falling out where they have to do what me want. So one day, <laughs> She basically tell me, say, me need to be there at the house by a certain time. And reach. Time when I reach in, I never in. So she basically locked me out. Okay. Locked me out now. Me take it as an opportunity to follow the music. Remember, me tell her, say, house I up the road, you know. So, <laughs> me go in the house I and me in the house I family. <laughs> like a kid in a candy store, car. You see this big column of box and you see Heineken stuck up to the sky and you hear certain music I play and you see Rory them in a real life and you see Weepo them in a real life and cancer them and of course they are little youth not the dance you know, so people start questioning oh, what a little youth about you don't know if I the buckle me there for pick up you don't know where me there for you see right. so you get that experience that you come home early you know so you can be and go to school and of course you sleep out the whole of school because you don't dance night time. You know, and I didn't know and me I wash car to get money and one day this man when he my stepfather see me come home from school and me that make some makeshift deodorant so me use alcohol and from leftover soap. I make some roll on for myself so it's staying up my khaki shirt. So I look for right. me like him look for me and say, yo, where you want to be in life? I like me take too long for answer. Him. Man look for me and say, yo, you you're not gonna be nothing in life. And that the man tells me, you know. Yeah. And me, me take it away. Take it away for sure. Of course, one night all your skin on my skin, like more time if my mother co sign something. Is a man where basically does reverse where she said. He might like government in my life. So, he started giving me a hard time. And I say, Yo, you know what? Get back at this man. You know. So, one time, 
him left from him and my mother gone out. He was the manager of him. One of them big hardware there. He used to walk with a Atachi case. So, he left the Atachi case and when he left the Atachi case, <laughs> it's like, see it open. But going out and I look all over the place and <laughs> <laughs> we are look all over the place. We lock it back. I'm right down the combination. Right down the combination now. Right down the combination. <laughs> you find out there. Like a couple of weeks again, him start talk a bag of thing. This week, the man basically come check my mother and the man bring four kids. we a mouth prior to my mother was born at the time with my mother. And then come all the way upstairs and send me go downstairs for a gas cylinder, you know. You are come upstairs and you send me downstairs to get a gas cylinder. And brother, me take it away, you know. But remember, a big man this, you can't step to him now. You know, my mother comes and make a move again, my lad. And I remember when this man tell me, say, yo, you're not going to become nothing in life. I'm going to go in a man attach a case, you know. I was the day before payroll, you know. The day before payroll, I'm going to yes. every in, it's a no, no, no. hundred envelope, you know. Mm -hmm. hundred man the past staff, you know. I'm going to every envelope, I'm going to take five bills. I never forget. I take five bills out of every envelope. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So, uh -huh. the money they know, uh -huh. you know. I'm going to link my confederate downstairs because the confederate, for me, you know, you know, I'm a mother, best friend, you know, where I always a complain to say, yo, that brother here is a, is a pestilent in my life, you know, and I be a yai water, I used to go down and go ball, you know, I say, yo, and this, I take from him, you know, see? 20 grand men up, get them time, the 20 grand, enough money, you know, so here we are. What? Hold on. No, man, I never sorry, man. I never sorry, <laughs> so I give her the money. Lee's Fifth Avenue and I buy some Lee's jeans, khaki jeans. And I remember I buy John Sport bag and I buy moccasin boot and I buy trapper keeper because at them time the trapper keeper was the thing at the time. I'm going to get my hair S curl and get a nice feed. And... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, man. Yeah, yeah man. I'm going to buy follow one. Enough roll on. I mean, I have to make no more of them. Then. But watch this now. I can't make my mother have the slightest idea, say, I that go on. So you don't know. I put them, I keep them down on me. Confederate, I keep it down on fire yard. I go home like normal, dirty looking and them things. So one night, this is the Friday night now, I come home and say, Yo, I will teeth me bump a cloth money. <laughs> And why my mother yeah, I wasn't big and my auntie yeah, I wasn't big. He now nah, look for my little brother, because my little brother baby. And he, me just did it quiet. He now nah, said nothing at all to me. The man said, who teeth for money? And nobody now nah, answer. He must say, all right. They're going to go to the water, man. What? Yo, yo, I'm I'm sorry. Sorry. yo, no. Bun say yo, I did last time when I got to you. I'm not going to do it. 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 I'm not going to do here comes Saturday now. You know, not see him. Like nine o'clock, me hear the door open. So, me, man, the man come in, and the man step to my mother and say, Yo, girl, are you your teeth, my money? The man come and say, Are you teeth, my money? What? Yo. You see, friend, I did it. man can't tell me not born over there. Where you go to? In tech, where your money, man. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
It's way too early for this. Listen. Yeah, man. Yeah, man. My mother, uh, my mother, uh, old police, you know, my mother used to know the constabulary force, and okay. because she and my old man never work out, me and her wasn't best of friends, because we used to get beaten for everything. Mm-hmm. 1995, that story I want to just tell you, 1995, I mm-hmm. confess to it, man, I tell her, man, I say, mom, you remember that money they were such man they lose? Yeah, but say I made the teeth with her. Incredible. Yo, yo. Yeah, so she start. She laugh. <laughs> she laugh, you know, and we get past that. So, that's what I would know. So, for them relationship, Frizzle and I go back and put more go live. So I go back to Port Morgan live now. I start go Bridgeport Secondary. Yeah. I start go Bridgeport Secondary now. You find out say you used to have some sound system at Port Moore like SS Syndicate. The real SS Syndicate at Port Moore it come from. Okay. Okay. You used to have trip, triple X sound, Port Moore it come from. You used to have King Stiff, Port Moore it come from. Love Train, and I saw a name Kankara. All of them never named to you. A Portmore stone. And they used to have Professor Nuts, Portmore artist, Papa mm-hmm. Stan, live a Spanish town, they are Portmore no. You used to have a place where they have Bronx, where all of the dance then keep like the inner city, the road star them, the super saint them. When you want to hear them sound, they have to go right out of Bronx. Right beside Water Bridge. Big complex, like a football field. So, bicycle was the thing at the time, and me live with my grand aunt, my mother migrate, gone a foreign. You understand? She have a restaurant, so she come in late in the evening, and she go away early morning. So, me dead and now I go secondary school, so me free for room. Me still have my chores, but me free for room. So, Portmore, I'm a yard. Me know everywhere at Portmore. So, every dance I keep, you hear it. So, you just follow the sound. Follow the sound. And you find every dance. You find out, say, now, me start circle triple X them now. I may bring a blank, go get them, and them take it and them me tape the cassette them and use to use them thing they know for my Saturday. So they start the ritual now. You start playing the stir mars and the stir graph them and you start listening. The nowadays sound them. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? So I start and I look at cassette them. So. We did have, through a bicycle time now, it's like that was our transportation. So you yeah, try out do all of your peers them with bicycles. So me end up, they have two bicycles. Cause I could have, me good for, me can make a bicycle from scratch mm. all the way up. Okay. That was like my thing. Mm. So we did have two bicycles. I sell one of my bridge in them one. And two weeks after that, I go back and leave the bicycle. <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Listen, I don't know what was wrong with you, boss. Holy s- Well, I know. I did teach him too much. So I tell him, say, every bicycle have a serial number. The center there. You turn it upside down and you look, you have a serial number there. So, so I teach him all of them things there. So me teach the bicycle and change the color of the bicycle, thinking, say, he not going to recognize the bicycle, but he recognize the bicycle car. For some reason, get a ride off of the bicycle, go back and search and cross check the serial number. And she say, you're a fiend bicycle. The man do nothing more than go to my auntie when I'm not dead. And tell her. So you don't know, come from school now and dinner, look after and enter, you see. The elder them too nice to you. They might go tell you something you don't want to hear. So she said, go and take a shower, man. Yeah. yeah. So I take a shower and I come downstairs and I eat my dinner and stretch out and I relax. So she said, Marlon, tell me something. I said, what's going on? She said, I never know your tongue teeth. I said, yo. <laughs> <laughs> yo, muscle. Disappear, you know, man. Mm. Disappear and you can't lie to them because they know you. You understand? Mm. So 
Ralph cried. She said, all right, so no worry about it, you know, because I gave him back the bicycle. She gave him $1,200, the money where he paid pay for the bicycle and plus give the bicycle. So he win two times, you know. Mm-hmm. She gave him back him money and gave him the bicycle. Oh, man, give him she a bicycle. She got a free bike. Exactly. So mm-hmm. she said, here, where I go, go You see that $1,200 there? You know, the lunch money, you know, so you have to find your lunch money may provide shelter and dinner, but you have to find your way. So that was like summertime, and me, I said to myself, so yo, oh me I go, oh me I go manage, man. So anyway, my auntie them send me two cousins them come out town. And when she said my two cousins them come out town, I find one old clipper around the place. I'm going to fix it oh, up. Yes. And brother, me start trim, and brother, me give the man then, so I'm trim. I help me then get you the brother. Yeah, man. The man then get in some class. helmet with the outline them with the day as well. Up in the man then paint top the line them there, you know. See it? <laughs> I mean, I know not more sterilization, so I'm being bump and thing, you know. <clears throat> After like 50 tries. Right. I'm mean, going set up a big sign on the gate. Barbershop work, man. I set up my chapel in and every Saturday now, I saw my income start coming in. I mm-hmm. start trim more support more. So one particular day, guess who mm-hmm. comes sit down in my chair? Who that? Malcolm X. Yeah. Yes, Malcolm he X. Was, he was, he was Portmore side, yes? Nago said him come from, man. Mm-hmm. Right, right, a stone throw away. So, all the, let me just set the mood for all the, the barbershop used to stay. So you have, me have it's, not a, it's not like a canteen area, so we use the tree them where we have and tie four string on it and get a chapel in and use a piece of stick and push the stick up so it look like a tent, like a teepee. Mm-hmm. So when rain fall, it fall off at the edges and you know underneath it and you have a barber chair, a table, all of the things them where you are gonna need, like the equipment them and them pan the wall now, the same tape where we did have now, the boom box is up on the wall, so so we provide the music. My yard full up. Every Saturday, you know. And see them cassette them when me I call it me I use and entertain them. Cause you know why I hear the radio. Because radio now play where you are play, and it's like it's it, it provides a source of entertainment. So when Malcolm X come then out, the man basically give me a cassette and say, put in that. Last mm-hmm. night dance that. No. In the cassette world, anybody will hear the terminology. A last night dance that that means say yo at it. First, anybody I go hear that. So outside of the dance. Cooler man. So you hear the quality was superb. We pride ourselves on that. Nice. And you hear from man we do the warm up. You hear from the audio testing one, two. You hear from that, <clears throat> from the sound that string to everything, to the vocal them where you now go hear. Unless you know the dance. I so hear some like apprentice selector where you know nothing about because they don't get the mainstream part of the dance. And you hear four hours or five hours of one dance if you have part one, two, three, and four where you're not going to hear unless you have the connect. So Malcolm X, when I'm done trimming, brother, at the longest trim that the man they ever get to look at, brother. <laughs> You don't know you need it up in the boy. You want you the whole of the cassette because you don't want him done trim. I say, yo, me need back the cassette. Mm-hmm. When me don't know, finally, me I say, yo, X, what I go on? You can't give me a copy of that. The man say, yo, you can't have it, man. I say, what you say? The man say, yeah, man, you can't have it because it's a copy. I say, so you have more. The man say, yo, I stole of me a play now, you know, because I used to play a song name, Ready. And that was it. Yes, yes. Mm-hmm. So him start playing Stole of Now, so you don't know him have the access. So him was my plug. So anytime nothing new would come out now, me start check Malcolm X every day. Me and him turn bridge now when I not trim time. Mm-hmm. You understand? Me might give me a whole pack of and So I go buy, I buy, I buy, I buy a couple blank. I always have blank cassette. Yes. So I make copies and me used to wear a sweatsuit them time there. So when me trim, I put my barber money in a one foot. And when me sell the cassette, then when I copy it, I put that in the next foot. So at the end of everything, when I done trim now, I check out my money. I start to realize that the cassette money are outweigh the barber money. 
So in the back of my mind now, a light bulb start go off and me start meds. Oh, me I go do this thing, you know. So mm-hmm. me I say, you know, say me, me feel like I want to start selling cassettes. So I start selling some cats to me, yeah, but I still do my training. All right. I get a scholarship for God done on. So when you go down on, you're basically out of window on the road. So you have to go downtown. So when I come off of the bus, I have to pass King Jerry. King Jerry and one son them, uh, uh, and Quenchy them used to be the cassette man them downtown. Mm-hmm. So you stop more time after school and you listen to the dance them like the silver art them and the jam rock them and the stool love and the metro media. And when time you go after a tree, you have Jack Sower. Yeah, no, Jack Sower was the resident set man for all of them sound that you hear me play. Any sound where they in the Kingston region, Jack Sower tape the whole of them dance them. So when you come off of the bus that after a tree, I don't know. A lot of people who know them time they go can't tell you. Jack Sower they right in front of Skateland. Afraid to mm-hmm. populate it and the sound system a blast and the quality sound great. So I they say you spend the whole of your from school till at night. So to me and Bob at them time there, I buy cassette. Me buy anything we have new, just sell me. Sell me anything. If I hundred, me buy hundred car. You don't know where I make a whole money. We stop take teeth for things them time. We give up on klepto. See? <laughs> 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 yeah. So um, so you start group your thing them now. You find yourself now. I find myself now with over three hundred cassettes. So my uncle now, where you say have film like a stack, start play out of my stash now. Me have many cassettes, and then me have the direct link with Malcolm X. So one particular day. I said, well, I check that money, you know. A whole heap of money. And then, remember, when I got Jack Sower, foreigner, always I check Jack Sower. And he just a sell cassette like bread. And, of course, you know, swear me, but uh, you're not a fool, so you realize. So, I have a virgin from Grand Spain, and one day him come link me and bring a, a deck come sell me. But that deck here come from a component set where the component set, the amplifier is where supply the power to the deck. So the deck is a standard, the amplifier standalone and everything else is a slave. It down no power supply. So we mm-hmm. bring it to Jack Sower and he pipe me to a technician and a technician basically put a power supply in it. It was a Sony deck. That was my first deck we may ever have. So a barter do this now. So I got trim him, 15 trim. <laughs> yeah. 15 trim and me have the deck. Me still have got done on them time. Yeah. So when me have got done on now, continuously I see Jack Sower, continuously I see King Jerry, Quen Chied, and, 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 and one son. And I realize, say, yo, you know what I say? I can't do that thing. Yeah. So we have a bridge in around the road now. He have a double deck. That double deck there, anything where you copy in that, the copy sound. Just, it's all identical to the master. <clears throat> no frying, no, nah, nothing. So, you don't know me trim him and borrow fin tape. Just a copy cassette and a copy cassette, a copy cassette and a copy cassette. So, me have enough. So, once somebody, you know, me get one car and battery, I pack one bag and I got Elcha. I'm there on the beach and I'm there and I sell one and two cassettes and I sell one and two cassettes and you know the, the sales them never as much but it was like an insight into what can happen, what is possible where cassette can serve. So we got circle one of my big man customer. His name is Mr. Martin. Mr. Martin, anyway, the God rest your soul in peace. Enough respect. Mr. Martin was a butcher at Crossroad. And Mr. Martin, I make him know, say, yo, you know, say, I want to try some cassette thing, but I need a location where the population big and central to everything where you know, say, I can make enough to balance out my thing. You can't get an end to me. So, he said to me, say, yo, 
I'll look into it. And then I talk long, you know. I'll be a three word sentence, you know. <laughs> yeah, so anyway. The other Saturday, trim him and him say, yo, this coming Monday, just pack up your thing. And when me I pass, I'll wow. pick you up. So August the 4th, 1993, was my first time I got a crossroad. So in at the same time now, my mother come back from foreign car. Remember, she go with me a while. Right. So she said to me, say, Migrate with me. Migrate with you. No, sir. I'm messing up. I said, what you want to do? I say, yo, like a house, you know, because you have, you have police, government worker, them give money towards housing. Okay. This and that and that. So she did eligible for your house. So anyway, he was a beneficiary. So, all right. 19 year old. Here, I don't know technical. I did that housing trust line. I collect a key for a 50 and up. And me, I got 19 year old, I collect a key. The people, let me look for my street, and they must say, Oh, where a little boy, I do forget key. And then, you know, a teenager, you have girl like rice grain. My auntie, can bring one woman come at the yard. Me, then time the, me am a bag of girl. So, me get the place yes. at 19 and got greater poor poor and that's you now me start do me thing. So, me go across road no, no. and I go back a foreign yes. and she give me $2,800. That $2,800 yes. supposed to be for the mortgage. I take the woman $2,800 and I spend $2,100 out of it and buy a hundred pack of D90. Because I had that conviction, I just know that this is going to work. So I buy a hundred blank, I copy, muscle, I did it from the foot. I want you to check with me. You know. Ten days after that, is the 14th. 20 days after that, at the 24th. Mortgage due the 30th. I don't know. So you have six days to take care of this year. Right. You see the 26th? 26th, myself, the first cassette. Ah. So it wasn't actually a cassette, it was cassette. Like 8 o'clock in the night. A man pull up and say, Yuti, where you have that? He say, yo, me have everything, man. So my great grandmother was a vendor. She used to come to Spanish town, come sell. You know, so I know how to sell. So you don't know, I spice up my sales pitch and him buy 10. He <laughs> buy 10 and I give him an extra tree. Because you don't know, you want to encourage him to come back. And um, he buy 10, I get my first two grand. Remember, I said the little money where my love left, the seven bills, you know. You did it, you know. That 20 odd days, you did it, you know. Hungry, all of them things, you know. So I start name out that, you know. I sleep all in a crossroad market, you know. Huh. Me and my house are poor more, and I sleep in a market, you know. You start learning about inner city life. You start learning about the unsleep. See? Okay. So I don't know graduate, you know. So when time your peers, them are passing, you know, bus, everybody at work and this and that, you didn't know want market. It look like, say, you yeah, regress, like you're worthless. Yeah, but like nothing I've con- won. Yeah, your conviction so strong. You never want, you know, watch them. Yeah, do what you do. Mm-hmm. All right, the 28th, I remember I put in one great chill in the morning. Because that was with style, you know, we pay some gospel first. And the, the market vendor, they were in the market where a woman come to me and say, yo, much for your cassette them? And I tell her, and she buy five yeah. or two right. bills. So I get my three grand, I'm going to go around the housing trust, right around the road, I'm going to pay my $2,800, yeah. and my pay my first month mortgage, and little by little, little by little, 
you find out that things start work out. So we have one problem. <laughs> one problem that we had. Me. So, uh, Son, Jerry, we all had the same product. <laughs> so, the to them is like stone throw away from each other. So, where you make me that strategist, how oh, you go draw in the customer? Them. So, what I did was go up town, I'm go up town, I'm go link cassette ninja. Cassette Ninja never did. Right. It was Cassette Peter, the dead I sell for Cassette Ninja. Peter, Cassette Ninja, and that study. Our uh, way that call a second. For sure. Yeah, Cassette man, enough time you want to go do something. You know you have somebody where you left and say, yo, this. So, of course. Cassette, Cassette Peter was that. So, mm. after a while now, yeah, Cassette Peter be a like rapport. And he must say to you, say, yo, to take your money, you know. I'm going to show you how you get them country dancer. Yeah. So I'm sure I'm say, yo, where you want to go? I'm curious. You go be a Negro, you come take a Ocherius taxi a Spanish town. When you want to take a <laughs> Linstead, a Bagwalk, or them places, you got a bus stop that a terminus a Spanish town. Anybody who live in Jamaica know where I'm at. My people them come from St. Mary. So I know you can go to St. Mary, you can go to Portland and come back to St. Thomas. So you have four routes in Jamaica can take you go any which part of Jamaica. So I know St. Thomas and I know St. Mary route. So the next two routes, we learn them the true Cassette Peter. So Cassette Peter was the man who teach me about how to go country dance. But then you had Cassette Ninja and Bigger Tap was the man them where and them are the country. I them take most of the country dance them. Okay, those two were the ones the really dealing with the country dance was time, Jer. Well, me have access to. Remember, I so said, just mm. have to start, you know, my guy across you now, no. me give up barber thing now, cassette man now, originally. Yeah. Okay, so, but hold on. We're going to wait there one second. I just, before we go too far, how did you get your name, Cassette Jones, in the first place? Because now you're part of the clique. You understand, yeah. as you said, there's Jack Sauer. Cassette Ninja Ali. How do you get your name? All right. Let me make you know. I already named Jones. Mm. Jones my, my right name is Marlon. I get a name Jones from an elder where they live in a scheme where named Jerry Gomez. You'd have a race ass Jackie where they named Glenn Jones. So you'd have Fana and you'd have a next one named Bartley. Them like are the favorite Jackie. So Sunday used to have a bicycle race Marine Park. The bigger man them used to make we as youth race run. We live in a housing scheme. It come like a, 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 a track. Like a track and field. So one lap round that like a complete is like a complete. You don't know. So then we start one point and end one point and you do them thing they fit name or whatever. Whatever they might do. So you don't know we are bicycle man, so we race. Yeah. So I call me always and mash up them race and now them name me as a race ass jacket where him named Glenn Jones. So mm. fast forward now, me is a cassette man. When you go to the dance, I when you make your cassette them now, you try a watermark on the cassette with a stamp. So you don't have Jones cassette location and phone number. So when you go to the dance and the man them are play. You that tell them, say, yo, big of Jones. Or they may ask you where your name are, you tell them Jones. So we did start out as Jones. Okay, before I could say Jones, it was just yeah. Jones. Yeah, because at the time, you used to, a one man did have a, a particular name, it was Jack Sower. You used to call him Jack Sower, the cassette freak. Yes. Me never want to have nothing to do with no freak. <laughs> yo, if I got to you, your alias, or that's your alias, but me did one so different. <laughs> All right, so one dance it keep a fall much, and dance you know, was between sly, slick, and wicked and stone up. At the time, 94, car 
Slaughter joined the sound, the end of 93, the beginning of 94, and it was a career as personnel. We used to ride a bike and do delivery. It was a delivery person. We delivered checks and whatever. So he must start new past to all of me. I start my journey. And at the same time, we build a little link. And he stop one day at my ends to go where I go and tell me, say, yo, dance there five months later. I'm going show up. No. When I went to that dance with the information that Peter gave me how to go with me, I go. When I reach the dance, no cassette ninja no dede, no big attack no dede, and me alone that the dance. Big rainfall. Big rainfall. And we, like, in the middle of the night, it come like God just comes and tap the rain and when you come clear the sky and a big stars come out. Dance and go on. Wicked that are them place. Uh-huh. Wicked. Magwan X. Minister that come in. Tell me, say yo, don't start tape yet. So we, we do one thing. We are tape early and <laughs> everything. You want everything, okay. boss? Yeah, yes, man. So uh-huh. man come in and man say yo. This is the world mortal stone love and Lampile, you never named Billy Slaughter at the time, he named Lampile. I go beat and teach some song. You think you can flip on the immortal song and the man them start playing good love, ready? And then play the Coco T and the Dub them Panda and then play the Bojo Band and show up. Bring the spirits of the Ricky in Yo, the dance start bust up from the third song. Give me the look, and it like him. I say, Yo, start record now, and then him start play the merciless, them and start play the, 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 the bunty killer, and start play the spraga bends. You could have deal, you know, that juggling upon the love, put on the, the dance, that bust up and shot a fire. Pay shot start fire, and the man tap his song. I say, Oh, yeah, hear me. All who want to see them lock us, they lock us. Yo, the whole dance like a chorus, they lock us. The man say, all who wants them come out here, say, come out here. And everybody there, come out here. Yo, me never see nothing like that in my life, you know. Uh-huh. Remember, say, you're a young cassette man. You just are coming to the arena a cassette taping. The man say, matter of fact, I'm a matter of life. Make we give them a last chance and then we just kill them and done. And make them forward in back and them they are matter matter and the man interrupt them round and say yo tell them flack off flack them off and the man say you tonight no jones I said tonight you need them can't say jones 94 that end up happening in 94 and um that was like my second dance where my tape for myself where nobody else never have that Anywhere in the world, you go and hear that cassette there and me tape that. The first one was Lee's Unlimited and Stone Loves. A good year, St. Thomas. I got a dance there. Nobody else never did it. I record that for myself. So we ain't at the town now. Anything them where Ninja and Jack so want to have, everybody start come to you. So that was my journey starting with other cassette man now start come to me. And then a couple dance after that follow like some black cat when I actually got tape where then clash nail go on him ping panta you yeah, seen for the first time cause teenager, I left high school, you yeah, learn the 14 parish. You used to hear them people up on cassette. Now you yeah, see them now. So you like your star struck. But when you look on their face, mm-hmm. for some reason. The voice where you hear and the image where you have in your ears are in your head never match up yet. That's a pink panther. Yeah, pink panther. Yes, like yeah. a juvenile, but it's like a man statue and him done establish and him chain, him bling out already. He, he don't know. The man, they, the man they always put together. So yeah, say, oh, and the pink panther that and for the whole night, you're yeah, there, in tune, but and a clash, but he might play the dance him like he might clash somebody. So, yeah. you start build by your thing, them now. So, 
in the same year, you find out, say, I don't want to jump the gun, but in the year, me meet up with Bigger Taff, because Bigger Taff live at Brayton. Me live at Marine mm -hmm. Park, I just one wall separated. So, mm -hmm. Bigger Taff and me you now had the first conversation, and I introduced myself, and I make him know, say, yo, you don't know my name, Cassette Jones, and you don't know me have some dance with him to have, and you don't know we can do some bartering thing. The man said, what? I said, bartering. We can, is that even exchange? You give me two dance, I give you two dance, and Godfather is like, bigger top him is like a Godfather figure. Anybody who know him, he have this countenance like a Godfather. Certain areas of Spanish town where you would have dared not to go, bigger tough gear all pass. So me and him start go everywhere. Everywhere we start go. You know, so mm -hmm. just the kind of gear idea where the cassette drone started from and all of that. I hate that. Okay. Would you say you were basically almost like an official stone love cassette man for a while? All right. You see me, you know, my alias come in other business as thinking me want to be good with everybody. Me never want to be like a resident to nobody. Me just good with everybody. That means that me can go everybody. So me never exclusive to no sound in particular. Because Jamaica is so big and so much sound system. If you find yourself just exclusive to one sound, you are miss out on everything else. So why not be good with everybody? So that's the approach I took to be good with everybody. So Stone Love was just one of many that I was good with. I had access so I could have tape any song uh, for them song whenever I'm ready. Yeah, because it was Malcolm X first gave you the Stone Love cassette them. Then as you said, you yeah. had the link with Billy Sata and you had those exclusive stone notes. so i figured okay even though you're linking with everybody it seemed mm. like you had more, you had a special place in your heart for stone love uh, yeah eventually eventually that happened because down the line me i gotta tell you what happened why that became the situation because it became more than just a cassette man relationship the man I will put moving parts behind Stone Love Sound. I may not think I'm privileged to even say, but I start need some main counterparts where them entrusting me for, 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 for make calls on behalf of them and transaction on behalf of them, more like a, a seat at the table type of thing. So like the scoop box, scoop box where you sit on sound system. I... I know who originated them box there. I know who implemented them box there. Certain equipment where Stone Love started use were exclusive to Stone Love alone. I know where them things they source from. You start to learn about certain equipment where if you never had a seat at the table, you'd never know about them things there. It's more than just observation. It's more like somebody had tell you, say, yo, see this? It does this. You know the ping pong effect where them have? Where, hey yo, Stone Love, hey yo, Stone Love, we know how them things they actually calibrate, we know where it look like, we know where to buy it because of the link where we did have with certain people. So they became like a godfather figure for me as a cassette man, where they did aspire for me more than a cassette man, not knowing say other part they did upon. So yeah, Stone Love became the creme de la creme. And my godfather linking at the Disney's. Yeah. 100% there. Okay, so we're going to get down into that part there later on in the story yes, and then get man. into there. Yes, man. So you, so then now I think we're at the part where it's you and Big Ataf really taking on the road as to Cassette Man. That man, it's more the country dancing that you guys are controlling. Yes, up. man. Because here what no. Anywhere there, St. Anjo, Kingston, St. Anjo. You have that covered. And as cassette men, you start, you start pick up things as you go along. Anything where from your cross Flatbridge, a country name. From your past Flatbridge, that are the 
the, the bridge where Giant St. Catherine and some other parish. You, you're basically okay. a country there. So bigger tough now had a license. We never had no driver's license at the time. So what we start to know, because he did have a motorcycle before, and he not carry a gun away on a bike. No man uh, put no bike on them bike. You know, no one to pin it. <laughs> See? So <laughs> we went from taking bus, go all over Jamaica, dance, done, sleep, or kill you. You have your nap stop back in your, you know, your backpack by your lap, and you don't want uh, to sleep because you wake up on the back gone type of thing. Depend on the bus, drive past your stops. So after a while, it start gets strenuous. So you start have conversation now with bigger tough and him have a license and he tell you, say, yo, we can put together and rent a vehicle you know, and me drive. So him was the designated driver and me was the passenger. We start make money. So we start go everywhere now. We get access to the every sound, the BS Odyssey, the 4x4 Exodus, the Black Cat, the Turbophonic and the yes. anything when you in country, anything when mm -hmm. you in country, the bodyguard them, you start get access to them thing there because bigger tough now I drive, and then you listen IRFM, and then when the dance you got the dance you will go up there when the man read the flyer, and put it back down you will write up the date and the location. Wait a go, so you start have a little book where you write down the dates and upcoming dance. So every Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, four days out of the week, we they all over Jamaica. For 10 years, for 10 years, you know, one decade we do that for, you know. Well, I did that for one decade, wild. but me and him do that for like five, six years. Till me get my that's own still, license. That's still a lot. Go ahead, go ahead, right. Yeah, yeah, it's a lot. No, I'm saying that's a lot. Yeah, that is a lot. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, so. Even those early dances, do you remember any, because like how you remember the Billy Slater dance where you got your, your name and stuff, like those early dances, are any of those dances stick out that you remember those country dances, either a bass odyssey, a black cat, a bodyguard, something that sticks out in your mind? So many, so many. All right, may I give you like my top three? So okay. there was a dance where keep a steer town, seeing the land name, Pantsiana land. It was Kilimanjaro, BS Odyssey. See? Let me give you who I play the song now. See, it have Ricky Chupa and a brother named Keith. Mm -hmm. I play Jaro. I it have Squinji, Tina Wan, Lenny, and Glamour G. I play BS Odyssey. Original one rock, them time there. You know. mm. The sound quality for BS Odyssey wasn't all that, but okay. the dub them make you overlook all of that. And Kilimanjaro used to play with a reverb in a, all of them music. Remember, it, it, it's, it, I just, that was them signature sound. And mm -hmm. them have some customized gray box, and them gray box, they, when the bass them a beat, it come like your chest a bust, like a full mm -hmm. range the box. 12, the, 12, the 12 gray box, them, that's what everybody spoke about, Jaro. Little yeah. soul, but you see those 12 gray box a, box? A thing. So, me and that dancer, and at the time, you have a song when him, Deporte, Bujo Bantan, saying, so, BS they have it pan dub, BS they see, them have it pan dub, and it was Wayne Wanda and Bujibantan. Everybody's calling, you heard, right, pan a sling thing with it. And to all that dub destructor, the vocal part of it, you know, have no bass line. It just, uh -huh. you don't know, other instruments. It's like a semi a cappella. But you see the part where Buji Bantan come in and say, Boy, get the pot. Come down in a one pan. Yo. So, Ricky Chupa play him round. Jaro forward. I go play. No, Ricky Chupa play him round. Be a sadistic forward and I go play them round. Them play. 
a um, couple songs leading up to it. Uh, they have a Tony Curtis and Jigsy King. You see? And them play, play that and leading up to that. The man say, yo, you yeah, hear me? I lock we have a lock of jar right now and the man them mixing and basically you see, everybody's calling your name, brother. I the first me I hear this at the time, you know. A stole of alone did have it where we hear. <laughs> this are the bass of this version, you know. And you don't know Lenny have one voice and Squingy have one voice where captivating and the man attack and the man named Daddy and him a player said, the man said, boy, come in and get the from ring in a one pants. Brother, the amount of gunshot fire, you feel shell a drop oh, all man. over the first. May I witness this, you know? Yo, me say, a man in a dance back off like a hundred foot. And when the man him a play the song, the man run and chop to a zinc fence, you know? <laughs> <laughs> I first me a witness where music do to people. The man jump to a zing fence. Like at some Netflix thing, you know. And then me see Ricky Chopa start ball like cry. Me see the eye water start farm up. And then it turn into this big thing on the eyelid and it drop off. Me see the man start cry. Because Squin J said, we are going to lock them off. And you must say, yo, crow, tell them to lock off. And Ricky Chopa there and you can see, like him and say, yo, oh no. Anyway, BSAD, BSAD, see, be, a them was victorious. That was one of the dance them when we witnessed, like, talking to me. Well, next dance now, where it keep was one dance with um, King of these and Stone Love, uh, House Leo. And King of these come and play a bag of dub. Bag of dub. Bag of dub. Wool heap of dub. Yeah. Yo, the man them have fast mixing. Just the entry and the man them start mixing. The man them play like a hundred songs in a half hour. Normally you don't do that. Me I say, yo, where them boy you get so much money? Matara never had to play the song yet. I just baby face. See? Okay. And, 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 and Danny Dread. When Rory come in, Rory take out a hundred dollar US. Yeah, after them done press up them lick shot and this and that. You really mortal sound stole up. Well, 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 stole up. And the man basically say, yo, you see, this is an American hundred dollar. You know how much people have to work hard to get a hundred dollar. Oh. But tonight, this hundred dollar represent King Adidas. And this is when we think of King Adiz. And the man take out him lighter and light the hundred dollar and burn it down to ashes and just put <laughs> on the Janiyad's burn and Shaba and Girl. ice cream salt. Then, Yo. Yo, be a gunshot fire. Girl. And how sell you that? The third one, this is a life changer. It was at Porus. It was Bodyguard, 4x4 Exodus, and Bass Odyssey. Bodyguard with Lynx and Johnny, 4x4 Exodus with Liquid Wicked, me and Soul Rest in Peace. And um, when? Probably Pancho. Charlie Blacks. And Trent. And, no Trent? Yeah. Charlie Blacks, see? Was playing, no, not four, four by four. by four. And Pancho, Lady G, brother. Yeah. See? Bass Odyssey did have the team except Tina one at the time. Glamour G, <laughs> Lenny, and Squin G. Me, it was Ash Wednesday. 94. <clears throat> Ash Wednesday, 90, 94. No, I think a nine is, yeah, 94. 94. <clears throat> Me, Big Ataf, and Ricky Chupa, the other dance there. I'm a next bridging. <clears throat> we reach the dance, 8 o'clock. And from where we are going at the dance, the dance, Ram. 
when time, me talk about Rob, when we go to the gate, we have to fight for God in front of the dance. Let me just give you a little layout. The man they might use a trailer, a flatbed trailer as the stage. So the sound them line up on the trailer. Yeah. And we that test out some, because you don't know where all is a test out thing. So we that test out one line mixer at the time where you have like 10 input and two output. So you can patch in 10 sound and you have two separate input where you just run to your tape deck. So there's no longer plug out for plug in, none of that. And at night, the way I test that. All right, mm-hmm. in other dance there, BSR, they see them are play Far East rhythm and score rhythm. And them are play just some regular vocals, but the song them where them are play is like every time the man them play one bad song, like the, um, the sweep over my soul, Luciana. Doesn't matter how oh, them say it. Doesn't matter where you play no sound, boy. No. Spray no say you're not playing right. Them song there. Yo, one man did it with a bike where every time them song they are played, the man just flood the cabaret and rev the bike. And when the bike revs, it come like a real rounds of fire. You know? Like a real gunshot in and the man a crank it and a beat it sound like shot. Enough time we are chucked on the ground because we think a shot a fire, you know. This are happened from 8 o'clock, you know. Right. Why this dance is so memorable to me. And I dance that I almost lose my life. So, me and other dancer, yeah, and we make a bag of money in the day, and we're nice, and we are take big sound, and we did it with the two big bad men, we did it with big attack, and Ricky Chupa, and you don't know where we are all of it. Why you then I dance muscle? A bun touch. The song them a bite people like people in a church and they make big touch over we head. So when we there a tape, I write this to the man there about the touch and him there too close. So me go to him and make him know say, Yo brother, you know say, you're there too close. So he move. And he start burning the fire again and he come right back over there. Anyway, he be a gun done. So I say, yes, the fire done. The man go away and come back with a pile of cardboard and build a bonfire, you know. You know, the what? The, the man build a bonfire right where we there tape. Cross. And me you now go to him and basically never said nothing to him. He used my Heineken and my end. Like a couple of Heineken and me, 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 done, me, me out the fire. The man get a next set of cardboard and him build back the same fire. So this time I go for the now and me I talk to him, but I have my hand on him shoulder and I say, yo, I'm done. Like me done tell you already so we are team. So I'm box off my hand. Yo, muscle, me give him a mere weather. Him get like a million thump in a minute. The last one, he get a uppercut and he drop on him back here. Everybody a laugh. Muscle, me should have cut out, you know. Me stay in the people them dance. Cause me did it with bigger tough them man, with the troop and one of them have a license for him. So me I say, yo, no man. So you have, you have, your, you have your, your, your back and juice every yeah, time. Yeah man. yeah man, no man can do me no, no pussy test. <laughs> a mistake me make. <laughs> so them time that you have auto reverse cassette just come in we have one of them deck there and we never know if you use it but then a side of the cassette done so me turn round and I turn on the cassette so when me I turn on the cassette me hear one of my bridging them say yo cassette Jones or yo Jones when me hear him say that to him say it me know say trouble dead eh? Yo, when me turn around in a muscle, the boy when me punch down have a cane bill. Me no know if in a Guyana you have man we sell cane, but them bill there is like it's like a samurai sword, mm-hmm. and that shit sharp on two sides. The boy bite him lip, and you can see the rage cause up your son knit up and him done swing the last already to me neck, you know. 
So my same uncle there and enough a karate man. So we used to play karate all the while. So me now just reflex, me step to him and I put up my hand. <laughs> and I hit black the cutlass. And I get a chap on my hand. And I run off. And the man start run me down. And I start push and kick down people. Me I run to the gate. When we reach at the gate, guess who me see at the gate? To the same man. Ricky Chopa. The man them where they with license gun. When the man them see the cutlass, the man <laughs> them run. <laughs> You find out that Ricky Chopa now, see the youth I come for chap me and him hold me in my pants waist and when the youth chap him draw me away and I saw the next chap it miss me. And the youth, him see same wood in me already so him kick off the gate and him run gone. So now, mm-hmm. you don't know me daddy and some girls surround me and them look at me and they say, yo, you are bleeding, you know. So me I say, which part? Because I don't know if where the boy put on the last, but me never really feel it. I guess the adrenaline or whatever. So what are the girls them lift up my sleeve? So and when they lift up his sleeve, so I just be, you know, it come like a facet turn on, you know. Blood just a spray, you know, like when you hold a guard nose or some blood a spray, you know. And then my knee them start get weak and one of the girls them take off them bandana and tie up my hand. And anybody who know Jamaica is like an hour from Spanish town figure poor us. The taxi man will carry me and Big Ataf got the dance. The man take half hour from poor us figure Spanish town hospital. So that dance there are one of the most memorable dance to me because I guess my whole life change. I guess a reality start kicking. I guess some start know say yo. However, you yeah, see life and I say it go type of thing. Uh-huh. You know what I mean? So one of the most memorable other one there, you know? Yeah, no, because something like that would be crazy. Did the dance? And because you guys were fighting or the dancer just kept going on and they didn't really notice what was happening with you. Yeah, man, man, you have a particular selector at the time. For the mic, we say, a long time them pussy they for dead. I'm not going to call the name. But if you have that cassette there, it depends on it. I asked him about it one at a time because me and him ended up start link and re re. I said, the member said that I'm a plate make him hear. Is it? Because affiliation with Stone Love Sound and Stone Love was a big demesis for them. Him see it as an opportunity to say, we're really the pan in mind. So, of course, yeah, them usher me out of the dance. I got in a taxi. They, that now stop them dance. The dance go on said, we yeah. still get me cassette them in the car. Me did, me, People there said, we about me injured, me got in the hospital. Yeah. So, just to kind of, kind of give you like, uh, 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 I give you context. When they came, me got the hospital, a Spanish town. Then I see the doctor, thank God to the taxi man who make that drive there, come like a fly with fly. And me lose a bag of blood and thanks to Philbert Young, my brother, there there with me through the whole ride. A matter of fact, him did call me to the attention, said the boy that got chop off my neck. You, me forever grateful, me never call your name yet in our interview, but Philbert Young, Milo, thank you for what you do, because if I never you to the day, moon alive, and who did there with their license gun, when they see the last I run them run. See? <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> ah, anyway, so I end up at hospital, and when I die hospital, the doctor, I see me now, and the doctor come in and me him go so <coughs> and clean him throat. Now, anybody in a, Clar- in, a, in, a, in a Caribbean culture, when you hear clean throat from anybody, it's not a good thing, you know. Right. So, him say, young man, stretch out your hand. Muscle, my brain, I tell me hand, if you stretch out, no hand uh, stretch out. The man said, wiggle your fingers. 
No finger, no wiggle. The man take a pen, him tell me if you turn my head to the right, and him rub the pen for me hand, and say, you feel that? I say, feel what? The man say, young man, I cut, we have to cut off this. I say, cut off your mother, man. Wait a Yo. What? See? So, I guess a reality start kicking, and then, then bring two nurses come over, and one of them is a Rasta nurse. I love Rasta different in a car from me, I youth, them always. It's like a God put them in my life to kind of make things make sense. So she say, yo, okay. she take the ring them off of me hand, and she say, um, she start doing a little thing them, and she say, stretch it. She had to do the same thing with the doctor, say, and it not work. So I guess them I say, be a spawn with them, see my hand can stretch out. So fear apprentice or whosoever a shadow or I guess then couldn't wait. So she take my hand and stretch it out. Oh. And with the reflexes of how she do it and the pain where me feel, me kick she and her throat, you know. <laughs> no, but an accident, I just reflexes. I'm, so uh -huh. them use that as a reason for dismiss me from the hospital. So I want you to check with me. Oh. I get cut Ash Wednesday. Them care me got Kingston Public Hospital. Thursday morning. You know how which day them look for me? What? Guess no? Thursday. Say Saturday. Saturday. Me get shop Wednesday. Ah, Saturday them look for me. My aunt starts. That's yo. Bad. My aunt starts me like a sewage bridging. Anyway, when we finally see a doctor, you know the first thing they ask me say, you have a bank account? Not how is your hand doing, everything good, how did this happen? No. Yeah, your money, boy. None of that. If me have a bank account, me say, yeah. No, if you are right, nothing. Them say, prove it. So them time they may have saved. So I <clears throat> prove it, so I have the money and then bring in a Cuban doctor and Cuban doctor forward in and him do what he must do and when I come out of the surgery, we start planning for the dance where I come sat there. You know? <laughs> yeah. You know, you didn't learn your lesson. Well I know, man. Reality I got kick in. So me you know. My hand up in a position like this, pan a sling, and it's in a bandage. So I take my hand off and me I try to wiggle my finger and me I try to move my hand and nothing will go on. Me I say, yo, that doctor, you're not good and ignorant. The lady come to me, the same Rasta lady, and say, yo, it has to take time. You have to go do therapy and them things. I say, when you so. So you have to go relearn for you with your hand because the nerve have to go grow back this and that and the third. So I the hospital for like a month and a half before them send me home and everything starts like you start realize say, humble, humbleness are the best thing. You know what I mean? If you're in a man area, you give them the respect. If you feel offended about something, you find other ways to express that. You know, no right for put your hand upon your body. You start to learn certain things. And um, I think I just start to learn for humble. Humble, like real humble. Some of my bridging them, they don't want to retaliate. And me tell them, say, yo, I'm me wrong. Yeah. yeah, although I nearly lose my life, I'm me wrong. Because if I never touch him, he wouldn't retaliate. Mm -hmm. All in the day, I do enjoy himself. And even though him there near me is a public space, you understand? So that did kind of die down a little bit. And, you know, my daddy may have to learn, he's a left hander, he's a lefty. So I have to learn to write with my right hand. And them time they are right, you right upon the cassette. Them. So me used to do graffiti. So I have to learn to use 
my right hand. So my ambidextrics now, I can use both hands. And my daddy hospital and no for my so-called friend them, me never see some of them. I see big at half, I see Ricky Chupa, but yeah, I'm other bridging when I have as my bridging, I not see them. So you start to realize, say, yo, when you choose people and I call them your counterparts, and so you choose them, you have to really up in a situation like you're at jail or that hospital or you play dead for really know who your friends them are. So I that me learn from that. Mm -hmm. And so that that's a that's a wild experience here. And then while you were done, what was happening with the shop for this whole month and a half? Well, me and two, all right, all I'm a co-worker that Mr. God done one with me. Mm -hmm. So you did have God at the time, and you'd have Juba, and you'd have Mark. So me no hide nothing. Me teach them everything. So them still have the equipment, them the dance, them still have keep. We still have make money, so all them do is represent me. Just God, take the taxi, them God the dance. The sound man, them don't know me already. For them say, yo, me work with Jones. Them give them the line, said we, them come home. Me do the editing, like when me come out to ask them. But me teach them everything, so the business still it a run like me, me, not, me not absent. Okay. While me there, woman ill. Is it? Yeah, no, that, that's, a, that's a thing because, again, remember, it's not like you're on the road fighting with somebody and this happened. This happened basically in an extension of your workplace because being in the dance is your work. Yes, sir. So then you basically got injured on the job. Yeah. And I'm really. See it. That's wild. So then you're down for the time here. So then now when you came out, what was your next move now after this whole ordeal? All right, then. So I come out to the hospital and we start to dance again. So, but of course, I had in a sling. So me, it's like mm -hmm. I just one and me have to do everything. So me I say, oh, this nurse I tell me, say, after a while, my nerve I go come back. I don't see nothing that go on, you know. So basically, I jump on a plane and go to Florida. I go amongst my mother. My mama tell her, say, me and my mother never have that good relationship. You know? That woman there, yeah, let me tell you the type of mother. You say, if the breeze blow bad, I get a beating. <laughs> if the rain fall too hard, I get a beating. Just because she did upset at my father. So I get beaten for mm -hmm. everything and it justify. So my father is who him is. I look like him, so let me just beat you instead of him. So, so everything she put on everything yes, on you yes. because of him, even though it wasn't exactly. really you per se that caused it. All right, God. so when I went to see her in Florida, me a big man now, me a cassette Jones, and me have my money, so me want to give her a taste of my mind. Even though me a seek her assistant for camera, me want to tell her how yeah. me really feel. So I thought I'd tell her some things where she used to go on with as a youth, where, when I was a youth and how it used to make me feel, thinking it was going to make me feel good. It start make she cry. And if I tell you the truth, it made me feel like a bullet cake. Mm -hmm. At the worst I ever feel in my life. And me is a man where I'm passionate about a lot of things. And if me no love somebody, me can't tell them. 1990. Four are the first time in my life me ever tell my mother that I love her. No. When I see she cry, the no. only thing that me could have tell her where could have stop her from cry. But she still never stopped crying. So me start cry like an idiot too. Hug her up and mm -hmm. we start exchange whatever. She start let me know whatever, whatever that man. My mother became my best friend from 94 till now. So, I then at the America side and I tell her I will go on. Because she never knows so that I get injured because I don't talk to my mother. She will find out when me land in Florida. So, me land in Florida now, um, we are trying to come up with schemes out for God the hospital because even though I have the medical records when I bring with me, she can read what, she don't understand what's on it. So, she say, yo, just make could go to the emergency room and tell them, say, you're going to hurt you and this and that. It used to hurt me in between, but not the way painkillers can't take care of. So I go in there and the doctor, them, 
do what they have to do. And they must say, well, based upon the record, they may bring come mm. and the condition of your hand and what it said, what was done. The doctors them did everything what they are supposed to do. So it's just a matter of time <laughs> before you see any pharma, any healing. So anyway, my dad have a daughter and me did have some link in New York City. I saw the name Unity Sound Station with a youth named Danaman and Casanova and Quincy. And I go tell you this. Mm -hmm. After me tell you so that encounter that when I have a porous, it's like me change my whole life. No more klepto, no more none of them thing there. It's like a death of my life change. So, you see, honesty, I best policy. Trust and believe me. So, some youth come from mm -hmm. Jamaica and them have them sound system and them come from Guyana and they do some dub for cut. And one of my neighbor them who was living here at the time recommend them to me. So, them give me them money, whole lot of money. And my go around and my cut every artist, the Capitan, the Louis Culture, the Luciana, the Junior Cat, the Buju Bantan, the Wayne Wanda, the Bushman, the Sean, everybody. The berries, me get them everything where they made one plus more. Okay. And they were so appreciative of that, that when me call them and tell them, say, me did injured, them say, yo, just come on New York. Me will give me social security and you can get some proper therapy over you. So, I <clears throat> jump on, a, a bus and I come to New York and my daddy with them. The whole of that summer there, I was New York and I got therapy. And when I come to New York now, I realize say, the party scene a little bit different and the culture a little bit different. And me you now, my counterpart in Jamaica, them start send me the cassette them to FedEx. So I start make some link now up here with like the record shop then. And the record shop them when I start make link with was like we write them down, we write Moody's records, Park Heights records, uh -huh. Barry U, DJ Gary, down a Fulton Street. Remember DJ Gary, can I go back to him? You have superpower record. The superpower record is I know so nitty gritty the dead. You have Beat Street uh -huh. record where you have the hip hop record, them, the R and B's and the, all them little things. They have Rockers Forever, you have Dan Lou, you have Bentley, you have Rap Jan, uh -huh. you have Force Record, you have Africa, well, Nigerian man, where they don't turn dangerous. Yes, Me, yes. Listen to me. When it came to when it came to those foundation cassette bus, yes. you see, anytime I came from Toronto and went to Brooklyn, yes. that's the First man, I'm checking the African. He had a little. It was. It was like a the little man hole in the wall. In the a, corner and just have a mm. little shutter. Listen to me, boss. I mean, how he sold his tapes? They were going to get back to the list. He had like a duplicator there, so he never had everything you seen were masters. Okay, mm. so you go choose. Okay, give me this, and he'll duplicate them right there, talking to you, writing them and all uh, that. There you go, Africa. Yes, anyway, in the end of the world, man, just bless yeah. up. So you have Africa, yes, right. and then you add rock and soul. Now, rock and soul, mm -hmm. then you add original record, and then you have Jalife record. All right. My mama tell you, say, me, I'm going to go back to Gary. So, down a full time street, you add Gary and Africa. Africa was the man from the corner where we just talked about. DJ Gary had a setup that I've never seen. DJ Gary had shocking color inserts where I have like stencil print out where look like this. So it's like, may I say, it's a different level this. So, mm -hmm. me I supply him plus everybody where you hear me just call. Them cats that they used to get from Africa, and me used to supply. Okay. See? So, yeah. them time there, me I sell one cassette for $10. Mm -hmm. 
Me count out more than 15 people. Here, so, you know. so if you get 10 dancing times 15, 150 dance that, you know, at $10 one. Do the maths. So, yeah. quick, easy 1500 All right. right. So, may I, easy, easy, yeah, easy. so may I have a conversation with Gary and may I ask him, say, oh, you get the cassette them, or you get the label them the way it is, and him there and him now nah, getting information. So I'm going on my business mode now, and I say, yo, here we go. On. <laughs> May I start giving them cassette for free, couple of them, and you tell me what the recipe. So I say, okay. I say, him big brother is a graphic artist, and him big brother do <laughs> a stencil like layout. With your logo and this and the name of the song and the verses and this and whatever. And then you print it on a typing sheet size, a letter size, shocking color paper with the guideline them. And you can cut them out. And you insert it. So I learn that. If you notice, all of them cassettes that we used to get from Jamaica, the quality is like we, if the quality is not good, no matter how the dance bad, we don't want it. So okay. you start learning about how to duplicate and keep the quality. So you used to have Tascam, you used to have Denon, you used to have Techniques, you have Nakamichi. Them deck deck is like the go-to decks for you. Yeah, those are, the, those are the standards. Those are the high standards. All right. So I mm-hmm. start buying them there. I me start me leave me a resident now in my bridging house. You know. And me, me have a deck. When I use and I do my little duplication when them send me the copy them and me, me go do whatever. Every one of the sound them from the Super D to the Kilimanjaro, the Stone Love, them used to have a crown preamp. So all of them good quality that we used to get is from a crown preamp. So me mm-hmm. now, I say, I want to get one of these crown preamp and the youth when me that stay in my house. One day, I go make the mistake and said to him, say, the money they were either collect. So all of them cassettes they were me sent to you. When I was in Jamaica, I want it now. The man basically <laughs> put me out. <laughs> Why would you even? It's, it's one of those situations where you're what? No. You don't know already. Just let's, let's not wrap this boat. Because anything is possible. But yeah, you're bright. Continue. Me not bright. And my money. Him for give me this car in support. So come here, send the money. Me I send me cassette them come give me before me even get injured, you know. So for that long period of time now, from me injured till me come on my a couple months, me not get no money while the cassette them still are come to you. So where the money? The man put me out. So anyway, me meet to a youth when he being the man. And being a man know who me is and wanted me for sure in certain things. So I tell being a man, say, me need to take up residence at your house and me wish me will teach you the craft. So I make him one little makeshift thing, one of them boom box with a three tweeter or six by nine and a and a regular ten inch and a car battery, EQ, car radio, and a power. And him just have it for one of them shopping cart there. And then him have a little bag with him, cassette them and him set up and him do him thing. So mm-hmm. my first kid born the same time. Nine, yeah, born. When my kid born now, my little money run out while me there with me injury. And me now need to make money more than with my bridging. I send come give me. Because them time yeah. Yeah. Me and my baby mother, this and that. So me build a cat, but of course it's better than his car. So him now basically did what the first guy do and put me out. You don't have no luck, boss. Holy smokes. Yeah. The man said the man bad by his car and say, yo, I cut you. I cut my bad yeah. So he put me out. So then... I went to a little place and me I buy my 1200 techniques, I buy crown preamp, I buy rain mixer. See? 
And I do my therapy in the meantime, man. I went to him. After I went to him. How long? They are, How long were you in the streets for? They are from. But they are from, but they are almost eight months. Okay, so you're there for a good solid time. Yeah, man, because I come up in a, like April, April 94. Because it this happened me now, right after Ash Wednesday, right after the surgery, like a month after I cut out. So like April, me and I come up, I'm there from that time till, till, till January the next year. I okay. go home. Normally, you're supposed to stay six months by your visa. I stay eight months. So anyway, I'm there. I'm going to buy my thing there. I'm going to go back home. But when I go home, I go home with like a burning fire in my heart and crazy ideas. And <laughs> I did like, I book up on so much things that it's like Jamaica never ready for me. But anyway, I go home, man. I had a work a little bit, a little therapy, my little finger, then I move a little bit, I have a little movement. My wrist kind of slightly weak, but I can manage. Before I cut out, I did make a run go up in the Bronx. Go check Mr. Moody. Yes. And when I go check Mr. Moody, yes. I stop to a regular customer now. He invite me down in the basement. And when he invite me down in the basement, I go down there. I see one task machine where I have a one to eight ratio. Oh, it's one to eight? Yeah, because he did have yeah, enough, yeah. enough slave attached to it. Okay. So it have a, 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 a ribbon connection mm -hmm. and you put in one master, eight copy come out in a minute, two side. Me never see mm -hmm. them thing there in my life yet. yet. So, I save up my money. I I'm I'm done my money. $2,800 I buy. I pay for it. I'm a go home. And when I go home now, up and down with Big Ataf and Ricky Chupa again. The same man never run left me. <laughs> <laughs> and then you find out, say, the venom where Ricky Chupa build up. From the base of this beat, no way he may get him turning out one different Ricky Chupa. Them face off back a couple months after that at Spanish town, and the man them him run down Lenny them with a gun. Yes, I remember that dancer. Okay, were you at that dance? Yeah, man, my daddy danced. Okay, but me never, take me never, your me never, time. Me never going. I'm not going because my hand is still work, the work. outside. But I see when they run out because they got off inside. Remember, I say, I still injured enough. So I me, me put on my thing at tape and big got off say, yo, I did it. You don't have to do nothing. I tape. Because I remember by them time, I know we have. I tell you one very important thing. You want to know about the dance? Yeah. The dance was like, I'm going to get back at you. You disrespect me. I steer town. I'm holding in our Spanish town and my place. Although you come from Dela, Spanish town and my place. So, he mm -hmm. play one round upon them, wicked round, and letting them come in and try with them and try. And then pop off a gun and them run left them sound. <laughs> them run left them sound. So, he start build up a venom in himself and he start call himself Ricky Chupa, the sound killer, the serial killer. Mm -hmm. But, Comes coming up the next three months, you have the biggest dance I got keep sure. in the world. You know which dance they are talking about, right? Oh, talking about the Jaro and the King of these in Portmore Entertainment. All right, Center, that which is in your basically in your backyard, you know. All right, so hear this, I know. So April 22nd, 1995 was that dance. Fire. So mm -hmm. we have the flyer and we are campaigning with Ricky Chupa, 14 parish. Apparently, he might prepare for that dance before me even come back to Jamaica. You know? So me just join the campaigning and he might campaign and we are planning for the dance and we are planning for the dance. And them time they buy the machine already. You know? No man no knows so me have the machine. You know? I'm making enough money when I fly come back to Farin. 
I'm going to buy 15. I'm going to buy 10,000 TDK. D90. 10,000. See? At the time, you get it at a third of where you buy it at Jamaica. And then we have a custom link where we never have to pay nothing to get it off. So I have 10,000 blanks. And I have my new machine. And them time they may have my graphics. And my thing look mm. different. So it's like a rebirth. Cassette Jones 2.0. Mm -hmm. So if you are met money with your counterparts, as long as you not tell them where you are make, you are them good. So I nah tell bigger tough when I make this and that and I want to learn certain things I'm not really I'm not really show them but I did it amongst them and I did it I did it like just did it with them and I guard the dance them and the day of the dance we did it from we did it from 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 the sauna coming at the dance from the coming at the land we did it from the mass chingo. <laughs> And I danced and I test out my portable that machine. Okay, okay you're, you're recording on that now. You, you pass cassette, you're going to that. Yeah, right man, now. I'm a thing not 2.0, man. I'm going to fire him, man. I'm going to go to college and come back, man. <laughs> you see it? So, my daddy you now and string up and yo, that dance, the, uh, it's, 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 it's like, and the biggest dance never got me light. And at the, at the most. I want, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. I want you, everything that you remember about this dance here, I don't care if it's down to the shoes that Troop was wearing. Everything you remember, we want to right, so, class Because that dance is so legendary. All right. So here we go. On. Ricky Troop have a signature look. Where enough man never know. Where him tie a kerchief around his head. All along, he used to say Ricky Chopa, the dancer ain't get beaten, a steer tone, he used to have a flat, a high top. Kid and play. The dance there, the man a ballin'. Bandana tie up. Him daddy dance from the sound of the land. A him a buggy. And them face the box them a certain way. And King Addy is in that play pong. Crystal Sound. Uh -huh. Crystal Sound. Now, one of them sound that we come from up a white hall. But it sound good, but for them wiring different. I mean, never see a sound wired away there yet, but it sounds great. Them dead, lion face, them dead, them come in at the dance with a box of arrows, dub plate with the orange and 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 and, and. this yeah. this the color code yeah. I saw arrows dub uh -huh. green. I used to see the arrows pan it. The yellow, the orange, yeah. and the red. Yeah. Yes, man. And them are right up the dub them in at the dance. Matter and they them are right up the dub them in at the dance. Have them headphone on and like them are listening to them headphone and I write up all of the dub them and thing. And um, when they did that, them dead and you don't know all for free. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, you know so that was all for free. Everybody have to empty the land. Start charge to come in. Yo, the dance pack up immediately. Everybody, the whole Jamaica that a dance there. Every cassette man. From the Mikey Dread, the Garnet and Light, the Warica, the Danny Dread, the Me, the Bigger Tough, the Cassette Ninja, the Cassette Peter, the, 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 the Jerry, King Jerry, all man with a good dance start there. See <laughs> Me have a tape deck as a backup just in case the minute this fail. You have um my name Father Father Jaro. Jaro did it. And him just a pace. Him a pace back and forth. Him a pace back and forth. And true pass said, No worry no boss. Me, I go kill them in a boss. No worry no boss. Me, I go kill them. I go dead tonight and him dead on Wipe him and cross. Every time him look over them, I mark him. And that's <laughs> all him dead on. And him have a jump up thing like a box and him a jump from left to right and mm. a jump from just left to right. Yeah, 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 just a bump. Just a bump. All right. Yeah, man. Yeah. 12 o'clock on the dot. A theme time for play. See? So, them play. 
Sanchez. Eternal Father, a cappella. Let him say. I see him on the phone and on the phone and on because we kill them easy. Easy like a Sunday morning. Uh, actually, Sunday morning now, you know. 12 o'clock, <laughs> and that, you know. And when they play that song, they, you know, the dance go up in a frenzy, you know. Like, yo, you feel like, all right. It's like, oh, you see Christian God church, and you see people getting that spirit and. You see them act a certain way, and the only thing that I left can... we do in that dance, you see, like it's with a run all <laughs> You know, you see, yeah. oh, 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 yo, oh. wicked trooper, then then in um, play, um, um, ninja food early, early, early out, early out till it's Sunday morning, yo, you hear, you know, you go back, go watch the video, the man a ball out in short, you know, and. Um, Simpleton used to have a song when he quarter to twelve. See? Mm -hmm. A man play. This a one and we now watch the clock. Go in, yo, clock. gunshot again, like the whole lot around there. The whole lot around there. Like the man dominate the place. Wicked, wicked, wicked. Yo, I'm a daddy, I'm a watch me levels and. You don't know you keep it a certain way. Them time they're from the day before, you know. Me run. Me basically me label up 1,500 Jaro and 1,500 King Addis. Me label them up already. You know. Anyway. Ready to go. You know, them come back in and them back and forth and King Addis a play some tune and a play some tune and bunty 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 and strategy strategy and of course when Ricky Trooper them come in and play them second round them are play like come through Jaroa come through the, the Jonas captain killing put them song they say well second round I was some bad song and then he had Predator and then the Ninja Foot them time they remember them now no bounty killer you know? Bounty killer and I give them no tune, you know, so you start here, being a man. When Jaro are mad sound, wicked sound, no take away for time. And, you know, being a man, medley, you know, being a man, being a man, being a man. Every bounty them play, the man counteract every killer we had his play. <laughs> See, being a man in a dance in a straw hat, you know. Being a man, gay. Killer man Jaro, every song him ever sing, plus every song with Bounty Killer has with him counteracking. You know. Other dance say, Beanie Man, Boss and Ton, mega star Beanie Man. You know. Tell any man say, me say that. You know. So when Addis come in and they might talk about dub for dub and this and that, one big uproar gone and the box them, the sound box them, push down. <laughs> dance done. Seeing them declare. Killer man Jaro, the victor. You don't know, killer sound, Ray Ray. Yo, smiles from Yasso to Yasso, every man in a frenzy. Them lift up, be the man and carry him out. Them lift him up and carry him out, I dance. Okay. Me met me with a guy in my yard. The dance done like 7 o'clock. Muscle. By 10 o'clock, me down crossroad with 3,000 cassettes. 1500 Jaro, 1500 Adin. And by uh -huh. 3 o'clock, sell off. Uh -huh. Bigger tough, them don't know nothing about that. Me I test my machine yeah. for the first time. You see? And yeah. it starts, you don't know, it starts turning that, and then me start, you realize it. 
I have three you to work with me. Big at half of himself. I have an next person work with him. And then what we do now, we try to buck up at the same dance again. So you have 14 parish. So if you have three sound, I play a Ochi. And three sound, I play a Montego Bay. And three sound, I play a Negril. We just send two people go cover one and you go one. So you end up with nine dance. Okay. And then Monday morning now, you link up with Big Ataf and you exchange with where them have. So you have way more dance. So you start next. It start double up. Then, but you see that the smart thing with what you did was you built a brand, Cassette Jones. So I will always want it. It to me. I said this one man can't be so many places, bro. <laughs> every dance you hear, every dance, Cassette Jones, Big Ataf, Ninja, Saint Boss, these man, she and Matt be in all of these dances all the time. All right. Well, and what you're saying now makes. Total sense, guy. It would be impossible, bro. Every night, a gazillion dancers keep it, and this man's name, and the rest of the man them keep calling that man. Something is wrong, man. All right, not no wrong. You start learn how to mimic things, and you start to certain patterns where you can just copy and paraphrase. Mm -hmm. So, remember, say we power have three sound, right? We mm have -hmm. big stone love, little stone love, and purple love, right? So them can play three places every, any given night. So him hire a certain amount of selector and him start duplicate the dubs them. So you might have three set of dubs where, and then you have a next set of dubs so a certain man got far in them can carry that. Remember say now you start rub shoulder with them people. Yeah? So you kind of start learn certain things. So me hire a certain amount of people and me teach them the trade and then we send them to different parishes. Because you make money now, so you can send money in a taxi, go here, there, and you start buying multiple equipment where they have the same thing where you have. So the standard of recording is the same. And where you link up now, you have a mastering and yeah. editing process where you know we teach them and you do that. <laughs> so you get the cassette them from Bigger Taff, you get some of them from Cassette Peter, you get some from Mikey Jared. So for all one weekend, you find yourself with all 20 dance. Now, every selector, you and them have a rapport. So you and them know. So if they never see you, if them I say a big up because you're a regular, even when you're not dead, they might assume say you're dead. So they just still big up. Big up muscle, big up you said you're a ninja, big up top. Sometimes you're not dead. Yeah. But them say you're a counterpart, so it's like a you see them one. So the people them overseas, like the Japan, the Canada, the England, and New York, them don't really know. So like people like you, where I said to me, you know, you think, oh, there are so much places. A lot of times, that was what I was used to do. Mm -hmm. And that, that, makes, that makes sense because I said, this was, this was crazy, boss. Because remember, at one point in Jamaica, I'm not even sure if it's now, dance were keeping basically seven nights a week in a gazillion different places. So it would be, impossible for any one man or one entity to be at all of these places. But what you did now was basically duplicate yourself. So, okay, now there's me and three more so that we could be in four different places in one night. Plus you have cassette friends where you are tech and a barter and an exchange. So it, it, it just, yeah. so if a 14 parish I keep dance, it's possible you get the, the, all of the dance that we keep for one night. So, That's so it start turning at that. And then Slowly by slowly, you see, CD things start coming. Slowly, mm -hmm. slowly, 95, 96, you see, CD start coming. I'm still at travel. I'm still at travel. I link with people overseas like Africa. I still have the Moody's them. And then you make a visit and you see them gone to CD. But these CD, you know, only have one ID. As opposed to a CD where you can go to every song, this is one ID. So you have to rewind to a song, a particular song, for you hear it. As opposed to you can punch a track and it go exactly to the track. So, but they home now. You know what it is? It's basically a digital cassette. You understand? Like how you yeah. have to listen to the cassette in full? No, yeah. you have to listen to the CD in yeah. full. There's yeah. no... 
you could punch. Yeah. It's a digital cassette. So it start force you now for stay home. So you have a couple of days now where you're there home and you do editing. So in editing now, you find yourself now like I start switch from that to mini disc where you can give it a divide. Same track, you can press a divide. And the divide is actually putting in a registry. But when you are listening, there's no space. There's no empty space. It just continues. Okay. So, me then want my experiment, me I travel, and you learn as you go along. You have the trial and error. I sell me, me crown preamp, and I buy one Maki 24 channel board. And the experiment began and for four years we end up to a peer mono cassette. So my quality went from here <laughs> to here. So we have my name, but the quality, the quality not so good and yo, I couldn't figure it out. Like me, I say yo, I wanna go on, I say yo, I can't figure out this and DJ Kareem from Renaissance. One night, we go up and place and we are make mix cassette and me notice him channel two, him turn it to the right and channel one, him turn it to the one, him turn the pan them, one to left, one to right. And when the cassette come out, it Chris. And I ask him what God, I say, yo, if you keep them in the middle, that are going to be mono. You pan them to left and right, that are your stereo. So four years it takes me to find out that. So you start stay the home now, you start experiment with sounds and then me tell you about the ping pong delay. I start turning like in a right, professor now, trial and error, one whole day, you yeah, test out this, you yeah, learn about watermarking without a stamp. You start uh -huh. put a voice pan the cassette. So you put an intro and an outro <laughs> and anywhere the cassette go, them know where it come from. Just because of that. So you start capitalizing on that. I have an intro where I say, as assistant to Mr. Jones, um, fine gentleman. Or, may, I play, may, may I play it, make it here? Give me a minute. As assistant to Mr. Jones, I was closely associated with a fine gentleman. All right. That, that came from a Spider-Man record. Yo, yeah. because me name Jones, they might talk about Jones, and you start search for creative ways now for watermark your thing. So you go through vinyls on top of vinyls, you go through CDs, the same rock and soul. Let me tell you, I get back to. You go there now, you start to see compilations of Tupac, Biggie Small, Naz, Wu-Tang Clan, Snoop Dogg, Dr. Dre. You start to see 12 inch where you can get the instrumental for some of them hip hop songs. Yeah? You start, so you start buy your own collection then. You can get Michael Jackson greatest hits, Lionel Richie greatest hits. Maxi Priest greatest hits, Wayne Wonder, you have um, Capleton, um, Baby Wayne, Grindsman, you start the albums now, some things where you know, see a Jamaica. So while I was visiting, I collect my own thing, I build my thing. So I'm there home now, and I have to listen to them thing, track by track. And you start your intros and outros. While you have dance hall I go on, where you go at night time, during the day, you there, you basically in your lab and you learn how to do certain things. You learn about volume control. So this mixing board has 24 tracks. You have access to 22 other tracks where you cannot do so much things. So while I'm on just a guard dance and I get a line out and tape them, there, that are like one level. But when me lock when I'm literally in our lab, start learning that CDs start coming, CDs start coming. And then through trial and error, we go figure out how to separate 
the one ID I'm putting multiple tracks. So mm-hmm. while you have man sell CD with my CD, then you could actually pull up a song. I hear the same mix on the cassette, them pan CD, and then me that learn Corel Draw. Cause I learn about Corel Draw, I learn about mm-hmm. Adobe Photoshop. I learn about Illustrator, so I turn graphic artist and me a morph in a one who me is now. I start morph into that. <laughs> All right. So cassette became obsolete. CD is the new thing now. And now I start go dance, same way, I stop use cassette deck. I stop to use that machine and I start to work with a mini disc. <laughs> a portable, come like a wallet, can hold well in your pocket. It's, it's, it holds in the palm of your hand. Yeah, man. Small, small. Yeah, man. And the guy, I dance them, so I have a little camera bag and it have everything my wire. I start to look like a futuristic cassette man now. So you start to mix and mingle, you start to go arrows now. And you start link with Bella Chin, who was the engineer at the time. And then you will, you will give him some dance and he may get a wolipa jingle. So everybody who is everybody from the bunty to everybody in the dance hall, them say something about cassette Jones. So my cassette them now start sound colorful and then it start out with dance hall cassette. So me we have gospel, me we have R and B, me we have Old soul, they will have 80s vocal, they will have individual artists, every one of them, everybody with somebody, you have that. Then you will have a juggling. So, my juggling, them the name Rockers, so you have music, give them volumes like volume one to whatever. And every volume now, you find yourself now, you start incorporate your song, them. Personalize your dub plate them pan the rhythm them we a lucky place. So in a them time there a DF Kelly was the the man. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so at the you start by record now. So you start the Aqu- Aquarius records. You got Superpower or Shelly records. Yeah. You got Dynamic Sound. You got Sonic Sound. You got Tough Gang. You got yeah. Everywhere record sell. And then wherever you couldn't get, yeah. you get the pre-release yes. and you got a dynamic sound and you cut it off on a plate. Yeah. So we start rub shoulder with certain artists now. So now you want to get your song them. Pandering. <laughs> so with them rockers, you know where you start make, you start incorporate your dub them with the song them will exist on the rhythm and you have find ways now how to play them. So I start advice like Penny Irie, General B, Baby Brown, Ali Cat, Scare Them, Cool, Scare Them Too, um, with the Elephant Man, Ari Tadla, Boom Dan, the Mike, Nitty Kochi, um, Truck Fender, Ward 21, Vice Cartel, Chuck Fender, Richie Spice, Anthony Cruz. <laughs> so much. It start morph into that. <laughs> so it depends on where you want to go. Right now, it's like you have a next levels to the thing. You know? It depends on where you want to go. This podcast is brought to you by www.twolinedmusichunt.com.